Marianne, congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Top student. <laughs> and Kenya High, incredible. 76 A's. 76 A's. What, what is it? Come on, explain to me. Why the change now? Why now? Um, it's really God, first of all. Well, I'm sorry, who? What? It's really God who enabled us because we are like a really religious school and he has always been there for so us. We God really prayed. showed up. <laughs> Finally, yes. And um, it was, we also a very united class. Um, we really helped each other along the way and it was just our teamwork. So this is just one off or will it be the same next year? It's going to be the same for the next 100 years. Okay, so you hear your results. Yes. You, you learn that you are the top student in the country. Yes. What happens? What goes through your mind? I can't believe it because first of all, they mentioned my son in Baraza and there were just screams all over the house. And then five minutes later, we're all like, wait. Which Baraza? <laughs> there was just a spirit of disbelief. Yeah. And uh, after, afterwards, when now they clarified it was mean, it was just a joyous, exciting Did you experience. believe it? I'm still in disbelief. I'm waiting some, for someone just come and wake me up and tell me, okay, now come. We can now listen to the results. And I'll be like, no. Did you <laughs> study for the KCSE? Mm, yes. You did? Yes. Hard? Hard with a lot of discipline and a lot of work ethic. And um, yeah, I really did, did do my best. Okay, so... I asked you earlier on in the show, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, I want to be a doctor, and I still want to be a doctor. Serious? Yes. Why? Um, I don't know. It has always been a passion of mine. I really don't know since when, but I've always known somewhere deep in my heart, like I want to be a doctor. Nobody so. wants to be a journalist? Nobody wants to, you know, read news? My sister is a journalist, so uh, that's already taken in our is she family. older or younger? Older. Where, where, where does she work? Shh. No, don't tell us. Don't tell us. It's okay. So... <laughs> So what happens now? I mean, which university would you want to go to? And, you know, what happens now? I have my prospects set on Harvard University. <laughs> Hello. But I'm open for anything. I'm just trying to keep my doors open. And, um, yes, but Harvard. The goal. Number one. Number one. Good for you. Thank Where did you. you grow up? Did you grow up in the, in the city, in, in Nairobi County? Yes. I actually grew up in a small estate known as Kawasukari, just at the border of actually Kiambu and Nairobi yeah, County. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's where I grew up. I went actually to a primary school just in the estate. How did you do at KCPE? How did you do? I think I did pretty fairly. I got a 427 out of 500. 427? Yes. Wow. And this other kid, this boy also yeah. got it scored really well. At, yeah, 433. Uh, it's really good. How do you know? <laughs> I watched it in, on the news. Oh, okay, the news. okay, okay. So, uh, you did well KCPE, you've done well now, Thank you want to go to Harvard, yes. and are you going to get a scholarship, are you going to be able to afford it, or? Uh, I'm looking into joining uh, an organization sponsored actually by Safaricom, it's known as Kensup. Yes. And, um, yeah, because, like, I think they really, like, just, they, like, take care of most things. Yeah. And, um, yeah, that's, like, a really good organization that will just help me, like, yeah. if I really want I to. I saw, I met your mother. Yes. In the uh, VIP room, and your aunt, and, uh, and the whole village is in there. <laughs> <laughs> your mother's watching right now. What do you tell her? Mom, thank you so much. This is as much as your victory as it is mine, and I'm honestly really grateful. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the encouraging words. Even like when we were at our lowest, you know what I mean? You have always been there. Thank you. I love you so much. Oh. You know, we always talk about your generation, you know, um, and, and how you people are, you know, you, you have no idea what you want. <laughs> but you seem to know what you want. Thank you. You seem to be focused. Thank you. A lot of kids are watching you right now, 18-year-olds like you. Yeah. What do you tell them? Even those who didn't get A's. Um, even if you didn't get an A, I personally believe, like, as I said earlier, like, I don't believe that one exam has to determine your whole life. If most of you actually were performers before and maybe just this exam a little thing happened we don't know but this exam isn't everything there's a god and he's always at work yours is coming it's the he'll take care of you that much i believe keep focused pray pray and trust in god everything will fall into place don't you worry you're 18 years old 10 years from now where do you want to be uh, i would like to be working hopefully in boston after graduating from harvard so yeah Living there. <laughs> but you, you, you don't say. You don't say. You just whisper loudly. <laughs> yes. You have a beautiful smile. And a smart mind too. Well done. Thank Beauty you. and brains. Thank you. Good luck, Marianne. Thank you so much. All right.